We live in very uncertain days, don't we? And one of the things that I find myself doing regularly is, is praying and crying out to God and asking a lot of questions. And there's been many times in history when people have done that. In fact, one of my favorite stories in the entire Bible is the moment when the Israelites are running away from the Egyptians in Egypt. They've been set free by God, and, and as they're heading towards the Red Sea, Pharaoh's army is in hot pursuit. As they realize how close the army is getting and these former slaves are recognizing the jeopardy their lives are in, they start to grumble and then outright complain about what Moses has done. Why did you bring us here? Why did you take us out into the wilderness? At least when we were back in Egypt, we had food. At least there we had shelter. Now there's an army chasing us and we're, we're all gonna die. And it's in those moments that we hear something very, very interesting uh, said to us, uh, from Moses to the Israelite people that I think is really relevant for us still today. Moses tells the people this. He says, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. I love how the English Standard Version actually says that particular verse. It's, he suggests maybe it's time to stop and just be quiet. My friends, in days like these, it's so easy to continually ask questions or search for more information instead of perhaps stopping and just listening for what the Lord is doing and is going to do. The one thing that's sure from the Bible is that these things have not come to stay, they've come to pass. And the promise is that if we will stand still, if we will wait upon the Lord, then he will renew us, he will restore us, he will lift us up. It's amazing what we can achieve when we trust in him. Let me encourage you today. Perhaps it's time to stop talking and start listening to God and see what he is going to do for you. Have a blessed day.